so it's okay, no warning, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Come on over here, bro. So uh, we uh, we're we're in the midst of it all. So let's get through the uh, pleasantries quickly. Uh, we had a question from uh, YouTube from D E C Y three David. Thank you very much for that question. I never know how to say that one, right? Hey, I'm fine with saying D E C Y three, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So David, thank you. Uh, the question was, ding. Intelligent concrete, I'm unfamiliar with the concept of a granular skeleton. Could you do a piece to bring us up to speed on this? So, uh, funny that you should mention that, David. We're actually working on a reformulation of a mix right now for one of our clients where we're trying to create a boutique version of their granular skeleton. So a granular skeleton is a very scientific way of call, of saying, a, you know, a combination of rock and sand or sand and sand. Yeah. It's the aggregate portion, coarse and fine, of your concrete, grout, or your mortar. So what are the, some of the things that we had to do, Brooke, to recreate this granular skeleton? So what we did, and we had... So yeah, so uh, we started out with the the materials that our client is currently using. Mm -hmm. That gave us our baseline on individual gradation of materials, mm -hmm. the combination, and then the porosity index of the combination. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the other materials. Yes, then we went to the other materials, did the gradation um, of each of those, so weighed up a, a certain portion and then put it through the sieves um, and weighed it up for each each sieve portion, how do you say that? Each, uh... The gradations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then recorded that, and just really, John's brilliant mind, right. um, took a look at each of the, um, the weights and then, uh, designed a, a new granular skeleton to reflect the old right. portion, but one that, um, is, is constant, one we can count on, and that was the problem with well, the old one. Was. One that we could do more quality management on, uh, one that was cleaner, yeah. too, which we're having fun with right now. But the reason why, everything that goes behind that, the reason why we call it a granular skeleton is because we're actually designing it. So we've got to name it something that can have this adjustable or dynamic name to it. And that, that's really what we're doing. You know, we, we started with this hodgepodge of crap, and then we come back with this boutique version that when you look at it, is it, which one is it? This one. It's just a beautiful, this is gorgeous. Yeah. So, I mean, this just took a lot of work, so you just don't want to call it a sand. I mean, fancy way of saying it's the granular skeleton of the concrete composite. So, uh, yeah, that's a granular skeleton. I believe there's a definition on it uh, in ACI uh, CT18. Uh, so, uh, Patchouli will post a link for that. And, yeah, thanks for the question, David. Awesome. Appreciate it. Anything else? It just sounds awesome. It does. Sounds it cool. does. And then we use it as part of our aggregate to paste ratio or our granular skeleton to paste ratio. But we'll get into that here in a little bit. We've got to get some uh, some mixes done. Thanks. Bye. Go concrete! Beat asphalt. <laughs>